You too. What's up? It's your boy, the Great Patriot here, DGP, back again with another episode, really the first episode of the NCAA Football 14 Viewer Dynasty. Again, if you have not seen the intro to this series, link down below in the description. But before you go there, leave a like on the video. If you're new, hit the subscribe button, then go watch the video, then come back and watch, finish watching this video. So you're seeing the creation of Vernon Davis. We have my boy, Jay Ham as a defensive coordinator. And so you're just going to go through, see how I customize it. You'll see the conferences. I have updated the conferences to what there are current right now only thing i didn't uh, really do was i was going to put an order name in the acc i was they they always have an easy schedule but i was like you know what they're going back to the at large and also to the way that i'm gonna have the playoffs set up i can determine you know if they should be a top four school and everything on the playoffs so we actually want to have the college football playoffs and everything once we get there i kind of walk you through it um especially if you follow me on twitch you'll actually see live how i'm able to do everything and all this stuff so again look at the conferences everything up to date now Disclaimer, especially for this first episode, I mispronounce these names a lot. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm a little rusty trying to say these names. I apologize that they're actually watching because these are real life people. So I mispronounce, uh, you know, I kept calling, I kept calling him Tua. He's not Tua. I kept calling him, I forgot how I say his last name, but it's Tungavaloa. Uh, it's Rakim Jerry. Like I, I messed up some of these names a little bit. We'll get to it. You see some of the uh, guys that I put in the um, thing. Go ahead, look at the spreadsheet down below if you want more up to date. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's get it, man. I, disclaimer, have not played this game since like a week or two before the first stream. Like I haven't played the game in, in forever. So I'm gonna be rusty. That's gonna be part of the fun, part of the experience. Enough talk, let's get into it. Man. Here we go, y'all. 83 overalls, evenly matched up. They're very good on offense, but they're trash at defense. And we're kind of just balancing either way. Six. If Jones can get over the top. Oh, X is open. Wide open. That's the freshman, Rakeem Jarrett. He trying. Hey, hey, look, Rakeem Jarrett over here trying to start, big dog. He trying to start. Junior involved, but Jarrett is just always open. Like Jarrett is just always open. Look at Rakeem Jarrett, the freshman. Yo, Jarrett is cooking. We see the safety coming down. See, how do I slap attack? L2, there we go. Oh, there we go. See, L2 slap attack. We see the safety coming down. We're going to do some play action. Hopefully, over the right side is open. Safety bit down. The right side's open. And that is who else but the freshman, Rakeem Jarrett. Touchdown. The freshman, Rakeem Jarrett, out here is killing it. Look at that. Perfect by Tago Lovis and dissecting it. Slide protecting to the right. Those are dot to Jared with a nice spin move for the easy touchdown. For Keen Jared gets the Terrapins on the board six to zero. So Marlon Williams was killing it last week. Seven catches, 73 yards, two, two touchdowns. Coach Hamp, I'm asking you your play call. See what you want to do. This is also Jay Camp's first job as a Division One defensive coordinator. We gotta watch that tight end. I'm watching tight end. Oh, that was my. That's on me. That's on me. That's on me. Let's go. Woo! That's not a, that's not a pick. Wow. Oh, man. This line. Yeah, thank you. Hey. End up ready to guard the running back if he's blocking. If not, he's stepping back. Richardson. Look at Richardson right there. He saw the running back wasn't in coverage, faked the blitz, went out, got, got the receiver, Marlon Williams, and caused a coverage sack right there. Shout out to the line getting through. This guy was the quarterback a little shifty, not going to lie. Shout out to Jay Hamm getting them guys off the field, man. Bend but don't break defense. Hey, if that's what the Hamm defense is going to bring, I like it. I like it. For the players on Jared across the middle. Let's see what will happen. It's not man coverage. But guess what? Jared is wide open. The freshman. He's tackled. And he gets a 50 yard penalty with the face mask. Tired. Jared is on the left. Hikes it. It's not man coverage. Tua gets sacked, though. The pressure, the coverage was there. And Tua, and I said Tua. This is the younger brother. He's looking like Tua the way he keeps getting pressure back there. Lurking in the middle. What a hit stick by the defensive end. Sit down. Where's my fumble? Dylan Gabriel is getting lit. Up. This is like the third hit stick. I don't know how he's hanging on to it. He must be Tim Tebow Jr. He's in trouble. 
Watch it. Oh, it's mine. Oh, I don't have the ability, but he dropped it. Coach, do it. Like I said, we playing like Alabama or something like that. You can kiss all that to buy. All right. Play action. Let's see. Jared. The freshman. Wide open again. Hakeem Jared has already has over 100 yards this game. It is not even halftime. He is a true freshman. Five catches, 111 yards, and a touchdown. Two of them saw him over there. I keep calling him two of y'all. I swear to God. <laughs> and Jared get open again. That safety down. And Tyler Lowe was staring Jared down through a pick. Oh, my God. UCF was all over it. I'm going to use it in the middle of the field. We got to watch this. Robinson no. On the One of their top guys he's in the hole. Robinson gets right. to the outside. <laughs> said, man, blitz it. Bet. He had to say, he said, oh, man, blitz this. <laughs> and so we go, man, blitz. And we man blitz. And they get the option in an 11-yard game. He might be able to get back in the action. Quick throw. That's mine. Oh, Keith, he with the, oh my God. The wide out here truly knows what he has he to do. He just got mauled. Make his team successful. The safety just got mauled. Two is making some adjustments here. Let's see what he can come up with. They're bringing the pressure. He sees Tua over the middle. Tua, can he get it? Oh my God, baby Tua, looking like the real life Tua. Those a nice dime right there over the middle to Demas, and he just tries to take it to the crib. Couldn't do it, but gets that 37 yard. They're gonna go back to the passing attack. They're gonna go back. To that guy, Dumas Jr., who gets another catch, 20-yard catch for a first down at the 16-yard line, and they're cooking right now. It is man coverage, and Jared, the freshman, touchdown! Talia Tagovailoa, 11 for 16, 208 yards, two TDs, and one interception, and Jared just caught that man off the press. Look at what, look at the defensive coordinator, Jay Hemp. Williams, Marlon Williams, the wide receiver, he was their top, he's the UCF's top guy on offense. Had seven catches, 70 yards, two TDs last week, week one. Only nine total yards in this game for the first half. Coach Hamp is out here killing it. Hamp with the blitz. Perfect play call by Coach J. Hamp, dog. I'm telling y'all, I told you, he was the missing piece to the puzzle. Perfect blitz call right there by Hamp, and he got these dudes out here trying to play. What they're gonna do? They're going. They they ran the ball on fourth today. Do they know what? And they don't get it. Fourth down. Oh my God! He almost really got that. He really almost got it. What am I playing? Madden 21? Oh my God! We need some tackling drills, Ham. See. Oh my God! And Robinson jumps the route. He saw it coming a mile away. Ah, oh, and they're getting gassed by the run. Touchdown, UCF. We put, I put the blame on the offense. I, I, I put the blame on the offense. We want to flip the play. Hopefully get some blocking. And they get stood up. Fourth and one. A three and out after a pick. Oh, that got to be a pick. Contain, contain. Look at... They trying to get Marlon Williams involved, and Jay Hemp is not having that, bro. Our DC isn't having that. Oh my God, they're trying to get Williams involved any way that they can, and he just. Bow. Not be a bozo. He throws it to Jared. The one guy he can trust. Oh, and he could not thread the needle. He certainly made an impact. This is one of those performances that the guys back Cross. in the studio in Bristol are going to be talking about all night long. I think God really damn, Cross out here striking. And Vernon Davis is hype. Oh, the perfect play called by him. Main coverage 
pressed up, shade down underneath. They went for the wide receiver bubble screen, couldn't get it. Hep gets him off the field yet again. Over. This moment. They're playing off. They're playing bad. What a dime to Cobbs down the middle of the field. Can Cobbs not run the defense? No, he cannot, but he gets down to about the 10 yard line. Brian Cobbs, what a play. It's football. It's going to be a straight run. Tag of Aloha. He's going to get it. Touchdown. Wait, wait. That's a late hit, ref. That's a late hit. But used to it. That's on me. That's on me. Back. Let's go. User. Banks gets it. Can he go to the crib with a spin move? Oh, my God. The defense forces a turnover. We're going to audible out of it. No, nah, he's going to keep the same play. So we'll give it to Funk up the middle. And Jake Funk. Terry Funk is somewhere in the crowd height. And he gets the first down. 13 carries, 71 yards, man, on the day. Five and they, play, they didn't play the pitch. Jacobs. He gets it. First down. Let's go. First down. He barely got it. Let's go. Funk. He let us here. Funk, can he get into the end zone? Funk gets us to the end zone. Three yard rush. Terrapins are up 14. Put him up on offset alert, bro. Was that you? He unloads it. And still with the interception. This J Hemp defense out here killing it. Let's see. They're going to give it back to Funk. They're giving it back to Jake Funk, and he's just out here eating. Jake Funk. Hey, I'm really impressed. He looked like Derrick Henry. We, we, we might have we might have found the formula, bro. And Jake Funk gets it to the end zone, puts the nail in the coffin. 15 for 23, 281 yards, two TDs, two interceptions. Not bad. Um, Jake Funk got it going. The senior trying to go out with a bang. 21 carries, 125 yards, two touchdowns, man. Was killing it. The freshman, Rakeem Jarrett, MVP, player of the game. Seven catches, 133 yards, two TDs. And D-Miss, man, five catches, 98 yards, something light. I mean, Brian Cox, that was a big that was a big play right there that he made. It was 14 up. He made a big catch. Um, that was pretty much it, man. Um, you know, looking at the defense, uh, Cross was killing it. Who got the interceptions? Banks. Yo, Banks, Banks did his thing, still, still did his thing. A freshman, too. A freshman corner, 87 overall, out there killing it. Sophomore corner out there killing it. We got we got we got some some yo. We got some hitters, y'all. We got some good quality hitters. Now see kite, now see old kite. Uh one sack. Uh Chance Campbell, one sack. Well, y'all, that's gonna do it for this video. As you see, we didn't get the NCAA player of the week, but we got the conference player of the week, Big Ten player of the week for Kim Jarrett, seven receptions, 133 yards, two touchdowns. Got UCF up out of there. We're still not ranked. You know, they kind of looked at it and said, eh, that's not good enough. You see the Heisman uh, right there, Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence at the top two. So you're gonna look at some of the board right here that we have. And again, some of the guys that created aren't going to be able to come here. You know, they just, they're not interested. Look at Darren Potts. He's not interested in coming to Maryland. So we're not gonna put that much points there because we don't have that many points to go and it's okay if they all don't come to maryland that means we get a chance to play another team and try to get them on the field and get them in the series as well hey and maybe they transfer after you know a year or so they realize that they should have committed to maryland and you know we'll, we'll still take them there but um that's going to do it for this video man again spreadsheet down below if you want up-to-date information as well as the twitch it will get updated after every twitch stream so if you want to see the highest up-to-date stuff twitch and the spreadsheet also follow me on twitter um, and again, if you want to be part of this series, not for this season, I can't edit the recruits, but for next recruiting season, I already have a couple people I'm going to create. Just leave the play, just leave the player name, position, um, who they want to be modeled after. For example, like Don want to be modeled after Tyron Matthew, made him the exact height, the exact weight, and I kind of modeled the stats after him. Won't be no more than a 74 overall. And then also leave the hometown too. So name, uh, position, play want to be modeled after and the hometown leave that below in the comment section and then come through to the twitch to see all the extra stuff that you didn't see on youtube but that's going to do it man like subscribe comment all that great stuff catch you next time y'all peace <laughs>